Well, something special about this place? It's where we're gonna build our house. Well, we may be gonna build your house. Once Boaz and me figure whether this marriage gonna stick. Well, what do I need to do to prove it to you? I guess time will tell. How much time? I figured we'd be ready to break ground about this time next year. Maybe. They'll come around sooner than that, you'll see. Kelly, you know I have a little boy and a brother, a whole family back in Dallas. What do you think's going through their minds right about now? I don't want to think about it. Well, you got to think about it, darling. What if my son believes that I'm dead? Now, I'm not talking about leaving you or anything like that, but somehow I've got to get word to him that I'm alive. He's gone through enough without having to be afraid for me. I know. It's wrong, them worrying about you like that. Right now, you're safe here. If anyone was to know you was here, then you'd end up right back in prison. Well, that's a chance I just got to take. Now, if you truly love me, you won't let my little boy suffer any longer. He loves me, too. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do? I can't call him. Well, if you can't call him, you could, you could write him. Must be a mailman around here somewhere. Yeah, old man Janks. He delivers if we ever get any. I guess I could give him a letter to post. Good. You send it to South Fork, right at Texas. Callie, let my little boy know that I'm all right, and I guarantee you everything I promised you is going to come true. Somehow, I'll get you to South Fork. You'll be Mrs. J.R. Ewing, and you'll be living the fine life that you deserve. Hey, Ewing, you're here to work like the rest of us. Honeymoon's over. Callie. Start tending to lunch. Come on. Is that what you want for yourself? Tending to lunch for your brothers and me. You mail that letter, and you'll be living high on the hog before you know it. Get a clean layer of straw laid down, and I'll bring the stock. Get away! 